Hi guys, Rebecca here. Just wanted to show you quickly how I got the Passion Planner into my iPad. I or I googled A5 uh, 2018, if I can type right, Passion Planner, if I can, I cannot type. And <coughs> There was this download, so I clicked on that, and right here it says click to download the Passion Planner Compact. So I tap it, and up it loads, and this is literally what it looks like. I liked this one because it was a Monday start, and it was all on one screen, so I hit this arrow with the box pointing up, that's to um, share it or print it or whatever. I'm going to copy to GoodNotes. That's the option. Uh, you have to obviously have GoodNotes installed before you try to upload it there or it won't show up as an option. I also have a uh, note shelf 2 that I could copy this to and I think I have Notes Plus that I can copy it to as well. All three of those are um, available but my preference right now has been to go to the good notes so I'm going to hit copy to good notes because I have good notes open it's going to ask me if I want to import above below create a new document or cancel you may not get this pop-up if you have no documents in good notes but because I do I'm going to click create new document because I want it to be um, completely on its own and not embedded into another planner. I It then asks you where to put it. Usually the default is uncategorized, but I created by clicking the plus sign a new category called digital planners and I also have a category called stickers. I'm going to go ahead and put it in digital planners and then I also have a 2018 version and as well as undated so I'll go ahead and choose 2018. It then uploads the document so right there is the new Passion Planner. Now I put a cover on mine, so here's this one, and I renamed it. So if you wanna put a cover on yours, you just um, tap on the actual planner to open it, and then click the plus sign and add page above. And it's gonna ask you for plain papers, but down at the bottom is a little link that says covers. So this is where I can choose a variety of covers like bright ones or dark ones. Excuse me, I don't know if those are dark. Those are enclosed. And here's the dark ones. That's the one I chose, etc. There's other covers, simple ones, you know, stuff like that. So just take your pick. I'll go ahead and choose something from enclosed and then you can either write or type 2018 you know text box and put 2018 passion planner and change the font size to uh, that's too big so let's go down to 96 let's go down to 72 Let's try 64 and then I'll go like this, make it one more, 48, and then change the color to black and maybe the font style. And choose Gil Sands or something like that. There you go. So now I have the Passion Planner cover and if I look at the pages, this is the rest of the pages. So I can add pages in here by clicking plus signs or whatever, but to navigate now, you'll just swipe right to left where on the Safari you are going up and down. This is always a right to left slide to go back you just slide back the other direction. To write, you just use your Apple Pencil and tap what you want from the top of the screen. So um, to zoom in, you just use your pinch 
feature and start typing. So there you go. So it's as easy as that. And if you wanted to add a, a clip art or a photo, um, I'll go ahead and click the um, read only button and then tap and hold and you'll get a option for an image. I can take it from my photos and if I want to import a picture, so for example, maybe I want the um, an icon for eating, I can put that in there, etc. But that's how you pretty much use the tool. I hope that you find that helpful. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.